Hi friends, Viafo, for whom I did a review of a 4K dash cam uh, several months ago, sent me a new camera. Viafo, the A229 plus three channel. Th three channel meaning there's three cameras, the, the front, the rear, and the interior. And the front and the rear are both uh, 2K HDR with Starvis 2 sensors. And why do I agree to do another review of a dash cam? Well, it's going in the Jeep. I have another dash cam in there, different company, and it was okay. But the rear view camera was externally mounted, and I went through the car wash in Sierra Vista, and it ripped it off of the back. So I've been hoping I would get another camera and uh, I'm gonna like this one a lot. How do I know I'm gonna like it? Because I have the Viafo dash cam at home in Mexico in my van and I've seen the quality of the components and the quality of the images that it takes. For instance, uh, Sony Starvis 2 image sensors. Doesn't get any better than Sony. Let's see what we got in the box. <clears throat> oh, well, to begin with, a memory card. 64 gigabytes. They send you a memory card with it. Uh, dash cam cable wiring. A little diagram of how to put the three cameras together. The main camera oh and I like that it has this big screen so you can see what you're getting when you're adjusting it. The two smaller cameras one of them for the rear view and the other one for an interior view of what's going on inside the car. So, three cameras. What else do we have here? Professional customer service. Yeah, I can attest to that because I've had some dealings with them in terms of making the last video, and yeah, they're real easy to get along with. Read this before you install it. Well, I'll be doing that. These are uh, strips that you put on your window to put the cameras on. A user manual. And I know from Viafo before, the user manual is comprehensive and understandable. Got more in here. Oh, all of the cabling for hooking up the rear view camera and the interior camera. Power supply that goes into your 12 volt cigarette lighter. Took me a while to figure this tool out the first time I did a camera review. If you've seen it, you remember. It's for doing the molding strip to get the wire underneath the molding in your car. Uh, another uh, USB A to USB C cable. And oh, some sticky tabs to stick things on there. They also sent me the circular polarizing lens filter. Um, good if you're driving into the sun, I think. And a wireless Bluetooth remote control. Um, have this at home in my van also. And if you um, want to save a clip, press the button and it saves that clip. Now the camera will also save the clip if you're in an accident and it's a motion detection. Um, if you have a big bump, it'll save it, but this is a manual way to do it as well. Well, I'm going to install this in the Jeep and uh, then we'll go for a ride. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. Well, I started this video back at the ranch in Sonoida, Arizona. I'm now in Yuma, in the Riverfront RV Park. 
Finally got the three cameras all set up in the Jeep from Viafo, just the way I want them. Recording, three channels started. Let's go for a ride. Well, the first thing we're seeing is that the sun is shining on the lens. And this is before I put on the polarizing lens filter. Later, I did some tests with this lens filter to see what kind of a difference it makes. This is without the filter. And this is with the filter installed. Quite a dramatic difference. Viafo's circular polarizing lens filter with without. I did this first little test drive without the lens filter on. You can see the rear camera is having no trouble at all. It's a beautiful picture. And as a matter of fact, um, the rear camera is also 2K and I post my videos in 1080p. So the picture is actually better than what you're able to see in my video. Well, it's not likely we're going to get into an accident in a RV park at five miles an hour where we need a witness to prove that it wasn't our fault. Let's go get into some Yuma traffic. Well, I was gonna show you how well you could read a license plate. Uh, they don't have license plates on the front of cars in Arizona. Well, the night drive was a little perplexing. Try as I might, I couldn't get rid of that reflection, the star pattern from the bright lights. I've come to think that it's not the camera. I've tried all the different functions. I've tried adjusting the polarizing lens cap, the HDR function. I think it's an anomaly in the windshield of my Jeep or the polish on the outside or something because the rear camera doesn't do that. Those star functions don't impede the uh, usefulness. Can still read a license plate clearly, and of course it'll record an accident if you need a witness. Here you can see I've turned on the uh, information bar there with miles per hour, GPS coordinates, VIFO, the name of the company, A229 Plus, the model, and we're in HDR mode. HDR. What the heck is HDR? Show rear camera. Show front camera. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range Imaging. It takes three pictures and then balances the light to get the best picture quality. HDR, high dynamic range. The Viafo app for your phone, Android or iOS. Switch camera, interior, hello. <laughs> uh, rear all three cameras front camera and you can uh, record from here you can go to the uh, settings and all the parameters you can set if you're a real camera buff uh, you can play with this to your heart's content if you want the camera upside down all kinds of parameters to make it work just exactly the way you want and of course you can watch all of your photos or videos
sitting here in my Jeep, admiring the sundown view at the Riverfront RV Park. Recording. Three channels started. Well, let's just use the interior camera from Biofo to recap what we got here. Um, three cameras. The front and the rear are both uh, quad HD. That's 2K. Um, the interior camera, which you're looking at me with, is uh, 1080p. Sony Starvis 2 image sensors. Built-in Wi-Fi that works on either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Um, HDR, front, rear, and interior. Voice control and voice notification. Uh, 2.4 inch uh, high density screen, high definition, HD. Hmm. Uh, parking mode and a GPS logger. And of course, uh, an app from Viafo by which you can control it with your phone. Hey, thanks for watching. Links below. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.